Okay, you're back for part two of this video on density practice problems, and what we're going to look at now are the solutions to the rest of the problems that I asked you to, to work on. If you still needed some help with the problems, just follow along and I'm going to go through how we're going to solve them. Number three is very similar to number one and two. In this problem for number three, we have sodium has a density of 2.2 grams per cubic centimeter. What's the volume of 56.2 grams of sodium? So again, if you look at this, we're saying it's asking what is the volume? So I'm going to put a question mark for volume, and my density is 2.2 grams per cubic centimeter. And the mass, it says, is 56.2 grams. So I'm going to use that formula that we saw above volume equals mass over density and we have our mass of 56.2 grams. I'm going to substitute those for the variables 2.2 grams per cubic centimeter and then we're going to do the math which was 56.2 divided by 2.2 equals 25.54 25.54 and now again look at the units here what's what are we trying to find volume and volume is going to be in terms of cubic centimeters because the grams are canceled out and I'm left with cubic centimeters so I'm going to put cubic centimeters as my answer okay let's move on to the next one this time it says, what is the density? So right away I see that I'm, I'm looking for something different here. What is the density of a piece of iron that has a mass of 16.6 .6 grams and a volume of 2.08 cubic centimeters? So I'm going to put a question mark here at density. And then uh, I see it has a mass of 16.6 .6 grams and a volume of 2.08 cubic centimeters. Okay, so looking back up at the top, my formula for density is at the top here. It is density equals mass divided by volume. Okay. I'm going to put density equals mass divided by volume. And I'm going to put my mass on the top, 16.6 .6 grams, divided by 2.08 cubic centimeters. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the calculator to calculate this quickly, 16.6 divided by 2.08 equals 7.98 7.98 grams per cubic centimeter. There's my answer for that one. How do I know the units? I can see nothing cancels out and I have grams divided by or over cubic centimeters so that's what I'm going to use as the units here. Just transfers over. So I'm kind of moving through these problems quickly. It's uh, meant to be more of a, as a key to show you how I'm getting the solutions. Um, if you need a, a more of a drawn out explanation, watch the, the first video and that will explain a little bit more how I'm, um, how I'm doing these problems. But hopefully as I go through these kind of quickly, it won't make for a, you know extremely long video, but you'll be able to follow how I'm solving them. Okay, let's, let's continue here. What's the density of mercury? What is the dense density of mercury that has a mass of 121.5 grams and a volume of 9 cubic centimeters? Okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm looking for the density of mercury. Density. Put a question mark here. It has a mass of 121.5 grams and a volume of 9.00 cubic centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to look at my formulas here. And again, same formula as last time. Density is mass divided by volume. You always want to write that formula, get in the habit of that. And I'm going to always label my units on my um, numbers. That's really important too. So now we have mass is 121.5 grams divided by 9.00 cubic centimeters. And I'll see what I get for the answer for this one. 121.5 divided by 9 equals 13.50. Okay, I'm going to keep it at hundredths place, 13.50, and that is cubic, that is grams, grams divided by cubic centimeters. So when you get to the answer, sometimes if you're doing these kind of quickly, you'll forget what units do I put for the answer. So look, again, if you label everything, 
as you're going, it'll make more sense. Grams divided by cubic centimeters, I can see it is density. And if we go back to the first video, we talk about the units that, that you would use for each of these values. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Granite has a density. Now I'm given the density. You can see the wording's a little different here. Granite has a density of 2.75 grams per cubic centimeter. What's the mass of 46.8 cubic centimeters of granite? So this time I'm going to put density of 2.75 grams per cubic centimeter. It says, what is the mass? So I'm going to put a question mark there. And it says, of 46.8 cubic centimeters. So the only one that's left over is volume. So that must mean that this is my volume. That's what I'm thinking. It has to be the volume. And if I think about the units, cubic centimeters is one of the units of volume. So that makes sense. 46 0.8 cubic centimeters. All right, now I'm trying to solve for mass. So mass equals, let's take a look at our formulas. Mass equals density times volume. So I'm going to put mass equals density times volume. And I'll put that below here. So I'm going to take my density of, and now I'll use parentheses here, grams per cubic centimeter, that's my density, times 46 point eight cubic centimeters. So let's see what I get when I multiply those together. Two point seven five times forty six point eight equals one hundred and twenty eight point seven one hundred and twenty point seven one hundred and twenty eight point seven zero because I'm I have uh, significant digits here, so I'm going to take it out to uh, the hundredth place again. 128.70. Now, what's my units? What do I do for that? Let's see. Well, if I look at these units, actually, since this is grams divided by cubic centimeters, what's ha what happens here with the units is the cubic centimeters actually get canceled out, and I'm left with grams. So those grams go there, and that makes sense because I'm finding a mass, and mass is measured in grams. So I'm going to put a box around there, and that's my answer, 128.70 grams. Okay, last problem, number seven. Corn oil has a density of 0 0.29 grams per cubic centimeter. So the density is 0 0.92 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the mass, I'm trying to find that again, of 34.0 cubic centimeters of corn oil? That sounds like a volume, 34. 0 0.0 cubic centimeters is my volume. Okay, so now I have to put my formula of mass equals density times volume. Mass equals a density of 0 0.92 grams per cubic centimeter times 34 cubic centimeters. Now my mass will equal, let's try this in the calculator, point 92 times 34 equals 31.28. 3, 31.28. Again, my labels, my label here should be grams because these cubic centimeters get canceled out. So it needs to be grams here. That's grams. So 31.28 grams. And that's my final answer. So I hope that those solutions, I was going through kind of quickly, but I hope th those solutions are a good key for you for doing these problems and get you off to a, a good start. And you can see there's a variety of um, doing solving for mass, solving for density, and solving for volume. Um, I'm, I'm going to be um, putting more videos up, um, different types of problems. So stay tuned for those, and thanks for watching.